This next question was actually one of the harder ones as well. Only 35% of the state actually got this correct. And there were two main answers that people came down to. So what's my logic here? We're looking for the correct statement. So we've just got to use our knowledge and again, see what is consistent with our knowledge. So let's go from D up. So D says homologous chromosomes line up at the equator of the cell during telophase. We know that's actually during metaphase. So I'm just going to write metaphase down there. Therefore, D is incorrect. Let's go to B. Um, B says chromatids separate to opposite poles of the spindle during metaphase. That should be anaphase. So therefore, B is incorrect. And people arrived at A and C as the last two things. Actually, 48% actually answered C as this particular case. And I think the reason why they did is because they didn't actually look at the idea of homologous chromosomes in terms of separating. Yes, there are homologous chromosomes, but this is not meiosis. They are not actually pulled towards the opposite poles. What's actually pulled are the sister chromatids. They're pulled apart at the centromere. They pull apart and they're pulled towards the poles. So in essence, B, this particular one will be right if we exchange that to anaphase. That'd be correct. Homologous chromosomes here should be actually the chromatids. And so hence why I go to A being correct. The reason why is the spindle does form during prophase. It's actually once the chromosomes condense and can, uh, can be seen under the electron microscope and we see these particular chromosomes form, Essentially, the spindle is actually uh, migrating towards its pole, and by metaphase, it is completely migrated. So hence why A is correct. Bit of a tough one. Um, the reason why I've explained it in the way I have is just to show why C can be deceptive. It's all about interrogating what we know and then aligning that, that knowledge to the relevant answers that we have been given.